And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, Harold. Good afternoon, Ron, or rather good morning, your time. 8 a.m., 2 p.m. difference, uh, six hours across the ocean. And it's the month of April 2011. Tell us, what are, what are you doing this week? Well, this week we've got, the, um, we've got a 10th anniversary party for responsible tourism in the UK. We've got about 120 people coming to the party, some very interesting um, representatives of different parts of the industry. We've got uh, Fiona Jeffrey will be there from World Travel Market. We've got John DeViel who will be speaking on behalf of APTA and the big tour operators. I'll be there speaking for the ICRTs. And Justin Francis will be there from ResponsibleTravel.com talking about what they've been doing over the last 10 years. So it's a big opportunity to celebrate what's been achieved in the UK around responsible tourism by all the different sectors of the travel and tourism industry um, since 2001. Now, responsible tourism, it seems like it's a, it's a term that keeps on growing in depth and breadth. It hasn't reached its, it hasn't reached its use by date like perhaps ecotourism has. Um, what's your snapshot? Where is responsible tourism this year and what are you doing? I think what's disappointing for me about responsible tourism is that although we've had a really now a great deal of success in the UK, we, we're, we really have mainstreamed it with the larger tour operators. The hotels are doing quite a lot on sustainability around the world, partly pushed by Travel Life through the, the British Travellers Association. Um, but we're not yet really seeing a response from other international um, organisations or from other national movements. Still very much a UK-based initiative, although we are now seeing the likes of Tui and Thomas Cook encouraging its adoption elsewhere in Europe. Interesting, interesting. Well, tell us more about this party. Where is it? When is it? And what might we do together? We're holding the party in a, in a Shepherd Neem pub. Shepherd Neem is the oldest um, continuously brewing brewery in the UK. The beer will, will have been brewed um, where I come from, in Faversham in Kent. I've just been to collect the birthday cake, which uh, again has been made by a local baker here in, in Faversham. So we'll be taking that up to the venue in London. What we're going to do, I hope, Ron, is, is taking a leaf out of your book. I'm hoping we're going to have people Skyping in from around the world for an hour or so at the beginning of the party just to wish happy birthday and say hello to some of the people who will be there. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, any, anything else we should add right now or is this... <laughs> no, I think we'll, um, we'll obviously get some photographs and a bit of a blog about what happened at the party. But I think what's important is that it's about looking back but it's also looking forward to the next 10 years and what the next priorities are. And I think we'll see far more work now being done in destinations around the world about responsible tourism, partly generated and pushed by tour operators in the UK, but we'll also find a response from the many destinations where we've held responsible tourism conferences. The next one, as you know, is in Canada in June, the one after that in July 2012 will be in Brazil, and the year after that we hope to be back in South Africa in Cape Town. In and that will be the 10th anniversary of the declaration there? No, it's, it's the anniversary plus a year, but um, it was important that we were at the Rio Plus 20 event, so we'll be in Rio for the actual anniversary. Well, fantastic, and thank you so much for sharing this. My pleasure, Ron. Good to talk to you as ever.